For weeks, nursing mothers have been complaining of shortage of vaccines meant for babies from birth to at least 18 months. The situation became worse after some major health facilities kept turning nursing mothers away due to erratic supply. Emmanuel Ba was left puzzled when he was informed about the absence of polio and measles vaccines after he brought his baby girl to the Suntresu Government Hospital for vaccination. The father of one is worried the shortage of the essential vaccine for infants will pose a threat to his child. I feel bad in the sense that this is the time that this is the first time that the child should come. If there is anything that it should be it should be given, I think this is the time that it should be given. So if they are saying it's not there, then it means that uh, this time is going to elapse. It's going to elapse that the child will not be catered for by way of the medicine or the vaccine. But it's a matter of life and death. We are trying to reduce that mortality rate. So they should try as much as possible to provide the vaccine so that it wouldn't create any problem for any child. Nurses had to take their time to explain to mothers about the shortage and whether it poses threat to the health of the child or not. This, in a way, brought some sort of relief to frustrated parents. <laughs> The Suntresu Government Hospital has nine out of the 13 childhood vaccines in stock. The unavailable ones are that of polio, measles, tuberculosis, and diarrhea. The Pediatric Society of Ghana has already warned childhood diseases could quickly spread if the vaccines are not made available soon. Timely vaccination of children, according to UNICEF, is a proven method for saving lives from vaccine-preventable diseases. It can also help attain the Sustainable Development Goal 3, which aims to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all by 2030. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumase.